Moving on, we'll do a lot of one-handed stuff. So we'll start with partner passing of just dropping it down into one hand. So again, learning to control the ball in your stick in one hand. So the ball's gonna be sitting typically at the top of your stick. When it comes out to one hand, we're just working in partner passing on dropping it to the ground and up and making a pass. And again, the reason for it, control. Just controlling in one hand, not being lazy arms and forgetting what we're doing here, but staying nice and focused, pulling it over. If we have to pick the ball up from a ground ball or we catch a bad pass, we're able to control the ball with one hand on the stick because this is going to help us too as we continue to build up and we're dodging. You know, we might be using one hand to dodge. And this is a way to start to train that arm strength by again, pulling over and hitting it to the ground. So from here too, we may have them, as we step back, say we're stepping back to bait a defender, and we're just going to have some fun here, and picture there's a, I'll play defense on you in a minute. There's a D on us, we may take a couple steps and flip it to our teammate as well. Trying to get this pass on par. So if I'm D on Alex, she pulls back, it's going away, and it's trying to hit her teammate. So this is something you can do with defense on you, we're going to add that next as well. Oh, here comes Kathy. Whoa! And we're there to see where our teammate is and make a good pass. So again, controlling the ball in one hand. Okay, how about you two play together and I'll pass it to you. Okay, so now we're going to talk about having uh, working with some D on our back. So as we continue to build up, now we've done some partner passing. We've run you through pretty much everything that we do as far as partner passing goes. Did we miss anything, girls? That was probably it. As far as everything from basic stick work to stick tricks to fakes to cradling um, to bad passes. And then we're going to move on and we're going to talk about what we do when we have defense on us. So as we continue to build up our stick work, we're going to practice this as well, maybe in groups of four, so I would have a partner, a partner too. And I'm going to work on catching and throwing in front of my body. Okay, and this is something where I think players, especially when they get to us, need a lot of work because we're so used to playing big that somebody behind us is always there to check. So really working on catching the ball in front of the body. So Alex is going to be playing defense on Caitlin and she's going to catch it in front of her body and she's going to pass it and Alex is going to be swinging at her. Okay, so we're practicing catching it all in front so there's no D is able to check it away. Let's turn this way so they can see too. So here Alex is on her back and Caitlin is in front, doing everything in front of her body. Really, really important for attackers catching the ball in the eight. As you guys know, if that pass does come and an offense is in the eight, they catch it, their D is crashing in, people are swarming. You have to be able to protect your stick in between your shoulders to get a good pass or a shot off. So again, nice and easy in front of you, passing it and controlling while there's D and there's pressure on your back. Okay, go back over here. So I'll go back over here. Um, okay, now go to the side and you're gonna dodge her. Okay, so as we continue to build up from the catching with little hands is what we call that. Little hands, little arms in front of you. Everything's in front. So you're working on this. It's hard to simulate in partner passing unless you have a defender on you. So with that defender behind you, we encourage them to swing. It's the only time in our life that we ever say swing um, is when we're in practice and we're like, make the attack better. You know, when you're working on stick protection, we have to try as defenders to get it. So this is an area where we're going to work on swinging and coming together. Um, we could go, you know, let's talk about stick protection while we're at it. So, and going with that, because we talked about little hands in front, we're going to do a couple different stick protection drills. Um, if Alex has the ball and Caitlin's trying to take it, again, the only time that as a coach we've ever said, I mean, because we don't even really go for checks. You know, we're not big on that at Maryland as well. So playing good defense, this is it, swing, go after them. And our girls for the most part, don't know how. Um, but we're trying to come up with it. And Alex, notice where her head is. She's always focusing on stick, shoulder, shoulder, defender. 
She's never going to turn to Caitlin and be like, here, come get it. You know, she's always stick, shoulder, shoulder, defender. And as she moves off of her pivot foot, her stick is not too high and it's not too low. And she's looking where Caitlin is. The other thing that we've seen with this that just doesn't work as you keep going through is a massive power cradle. So as Alex, if she were to start to power cradle, that as they continue to get to, to higher levels, that's gone. So teaching your players to be simple. Be nice and easy with it. Simple cradles, know where your defender is. Good, and then we'll do this as well, and this one's a little harder, with one hand. So Alex is gonna pull it out into one hand. So say she's protecting it from Caitlin. She's not warding off. You don't see that arm coming up. And this is unrealistic. There is no time in a game that for 30 seconds, you're holding the stick in one hand and have a defender hacking at you. But by working on it, you're gaining confidence that when you do have it in your one hand, you are able to react to where the defender goes. So Alex will control, then she'll get back into two. They'll switch partners. So then Caitlin may control it in one. And again, just working on it, it's awareness. It's knowing where your defender is. It's knowing how to control the ball and your stick. Okay, good job. All right, let's walk and do it now. Just so you guys don't have to run. Next drill you can do to work on stick protection is start, we go across the field. Um, and we'll start with our defender on one side. We're gonna end up going on both sides of, the, of our player with the ball and behind. So you pick a side and we're gonna walk on that side of their hip and they're protecting their stick on that side. We're encouraging our defense to go after it. Try to check, try to come up with it. You're gonna get bumped in a game. You have to be able to handle it. You have to be able to handle someone swinging, know where your stick is and protect it. Then they'll switch ways and they'll go on the other hip. So for us, it's coming back. Now Caitlin has to protect it in her left hand. And we have, you know, our defenders will do this in their right hand and they will control it in their right hand on this side. Um, they're more comfortable that way. Um, some of them, some of them like to go on their left hand. Um, but we, again, work with them. Work with them. What do you, they're comfortable having it on that side. They can protect it on that side as well. Um, then you go behind. And again, we're not, this turns into a full field sprint. We're not going to sprint here. Uh, no, thank you. So nice and easy in front, knowing where your defender is and protecting uh, your stick in front of your shoulders. And if Caitlin did see someone open over there in the stands, that pass would come from in front of her body, which we just did when we did our little hands uh, protection behind. Okay? Um, next, we're going to build up into dodging, and we're going to go back to the partner passing thing, but since we talked about little hands, that was a good time for it. So I'll just pass it to one of you, pop out, and then dodge by. So you can do this as far as your partner passing goes to. Am I passing to you? So I'm going to pass it out just to Alex. She's going to catch it and then protect her stick and dodge by Caitlin. And I'm not sure if you guys saw speakers that talked on individual offense and talked about dodging, but key points, dodging is a huge part of our game. And key points to emphasize are, one, protect your stick. Because if you dodge by and you hang your stick, you lost the ball. And that's a turnover. And if you don't have the ball, the other team does, and you can't score, and they can. I'll stay over here. Um, so protecting your stick. Second, you know, the, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So breaking out from where the ball carrier is is point A and where they're trying to go is point B. We want to dodge in a straight line. I know sometimes you may see a player dodge and next thing you know they're running like diagonal down the field, which defeats the point. So we're coming out, dodging by Caitlin, straight line, cutting her off. Alex wants Caitlin on her back. You know, she wants Caitlin now to be pressuring Alex on her back where now Alex is in the lead, she's in front, she can control her stick wherever she wants. So there are the major points that we'll emphasize in dodging is protecting your stick and attacking in a straight line. Again, from point A to B, straight line around. Um, so that way you're cutting your defense off and the defense is turning. So within this, in your partner passing setting to work on stick work, um, you can do, build up on different dodges. You know, Alex may dodge, Caitlin say she catches it from me. I send it to her, she may use two hands and just pull across and dodge Caitlin. And Caitlin, or one hand, yep. But that's a, there's a lot that you guys can do. We can do one hand, um, you can do one and then roll. Like say she pulled out to one hand and then rolled around Caitlin and again, attacked in two lines. So um, we're not gonna spend a lot of time talking on dodging. That wasn't our point of this, but just to 
kind of relay how you can work on dodging as a part of your stick work. Um, Because it's a huge part of our game and something that I think doesn't get the amount of attention as it should.